Welcome back everybody. Today we're diving into the new way of how to work with mega scans in Unreal Engine on the new platform called Fab. Now, if you felt a little bit lost, you're not alone. And I'm here to help you a walk through how to access your favorite assets and highlight some important tweaks in the new setup. So let's get started. But first things first, Fab is a new tool in Unreal Engine starting from the version 5.3. If you're running an older version, unfortunately this feature won't be available to you, so make sure you're up to date. Now to enable Fab, close whatever project you've got open, head over to the Epic Games Launcher, log in, make sure you're logged in on the Epic Games Launcher, otherwise it won't work obviously, then in your library search for the Fab plugin to install it. Now, this is, uh, you know, it's very important that you install it to your engine version of choice. Then reopen your project and you'll be able to now uh, see the plugin enabled in it. And then you're able to actually just open it inside the engine and have a look at your assets. Now, once you're back in the editor, the fab uh, button should be visible in the toolbar and you're ready to go. Fab brings together everything in one place, you know, assets, plugins, and the tools that were previously scattered across different parts of the Unreal Engine marketplace. Now you can easily navigate and add assets directly from the integrated library. Inside the Fab window, you'll find all your purchased assets and any new ones you might want to explore, all accessible in a few clicks. My very own assets are actually on Fab right now. You can have the complete Cloud Forge or the Atmos Forge or the Asteroid Ring library. Everything now is on the Fab Marketplace. Hopefully it will reach a higher audience than before. Okay, now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You know, currently Fab doesn't have a dedicated way for you to actually search for mega scans. So in the search box, you'd want to type in Quixel. That's basically the workaround. So once you see that, you'll be able to choose the Quixel um, asset effectively the account that uh, has posted everything and this gives you access to all the mega scans they've done even though it might feel a bit of clunky for now when you're ready pick the quality that you'd like so for example high quality and hit add to project one thing to really look out for is the fact that when you are on the website you are not able to select what quality you're actually downloading straight from the website so this is why i would definitely recommend that you use the fab plugin in order to do this because I have yet to find a way to do it through the website itself. And if you haven't already, by the way, just make sure you claim all the mega scans before the end of 2024, uh, as they will only be free until then. Now, one of the changes that have been, has been done uh, to the materials is that they switched over from an ARM format to an ORM format, meaning that before it was ambient occlusion, roughness, and, dis and displacement. Now it's actually ambient occlusion, uh, roughness, and metallic. So that's why it's called ORM. So this change actually makes the assets actually look better because the metallic map is actually accurate now, but it does actually mean that you have to get your displacement map in a different way. Uh, so, so you might, you know, you, you'll need to be able to make your own adjustments and be able to bring the displacement map yourself into this. So we're going to show you how to do that. So that's the displacement map or a height map. So in order for you to get your displacement map, you have to actually head on over to the website of uh, Fab and then open the asset that you're trying to get and you know look at the asset that you're trying to get the displacement map for and click on the button to basically download it. So this is a workaround. It's a bit, you know, not very great. I'm hoping they're going to add the option straight into the Fab plugin so you can just press a button and get the displacement map as well. That would actually make sense. Now with Fab, the Unreal Engine Marketplace is just, you know, it's basically evolving and there are some pains to go through and, you know, improvements are happening and this still needs work. But this system should only get better as Epic refine it. So if you're finding any changes a bit awkward, just give it some time. Uh, I hope this guide has been helpful to you. And uh, again, if you want to support the Arganians Puzzle Box platform, head on over to my Patreon or have a look on my Fab Marketplace and have a look at some of my assets. Maybe you will like what you see and maybe you want to get them. A big thank you to my Patreons and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and take care.